वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज अमोक एंड दिस इज माई पार्टनर गोगुल वी आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सेवेंथ सेमिस्टर फ्रॉम आर आई मैसूर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड द एम ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इज मास ऑब्जॉर्बन क्वेश्चन ऑफ अलूमिनियम फॉर बीटा पार्टिकल्स सो नाउ लेट्स सी वॉट इज द मास ऑब्जॉर्बन क्वेश्चन सो ए मेशर ऑफ द रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज इन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन as it passes through the uh, any given uh, substance is called the absorption coefficient that is the fraction of incident radiant energy absorbed uh, per unit mass or uh, thickness is called its mass absorption coefficient now let's start let's see the apparatus required for this experiment first is gm counting system this is connected to a power supply and this gm counting system is connected to a gm detector and this gm detector is placed in a detector stand where we use a tray to keep a source in a uh, stand then next apparatus required is absorber these are the aluminum absorbers where there are plates of different thickness these are the thick, uh, aluminum absorbers we will use for this experiment uh, which is bit thin then the source source which we are, which we are uh, going to use is thallium which is a beta source now let's see the working principle of giga mullah counter a giga counter is an electronic instrument used for detecting and measuring ionizing radiation it is widely used in applications such as radiation uh, dosimet uh, dosimetry radiological protection experimental physics and nuclear uh, industry a giga counter has two main parts a sealed tube or chamber filled with gas and an information display radiation enters the tube and when it collides with the gas it pushes the electrons away from the gas gas atom and uh, that creates an uh, ion pair the ionizing particle passing through the tube ionizes the gas and electrons so produced move towards the anode the velocity is quite high and they later produce secondary electrons after repeated collisions with uh, particles of the gas these secondary electrons further produce more electrons in geometric progression due to this large multiplication action a large ionization current is produced and this giga mullah counter will uh, that display will uh, exactly show the corresponding counts now let's see how to find out the mass absorption coefficient from uh, this experiment so here the beta particles are absorbed by aluminum the absorption of radiation is characterized by the equation n is equal to n not e raised to minus mu dash t where n is the counts with absorber for a certain time and uh, n not is the counts without absorber for the same duration of time this mu dash is the absorption coefficient and mu is the mass absorption coefficient now how to find the mass absorption coefficient from the uh, absorption coefficient mu is equal to mu dash divided by rho density okay now this t represents the thickness now in this equation if we take the natural logarithm on both sides we'll get ln n is equal to ln n not minus mu dash t now in this term minus mu dash t let's multiply and divide with the density rho so now our equation will become ln n is equal to ln n not minus mu dash divided by rho into rho t now what is this mu dash divided by rho that is nothing but our mass absorption coefficient mu so in place of mu dash divided by rho i can replace it with mu so now our equation is in the form ln n is equal to ln n not minus mu rho t now uh, let's see this equation this equation is in the form y is equal to c minus mx that means if you plot a graph taking rho t the density into thickness as the x axis and ln n in the y axis something like this rho t in the x axis and ln in the y axis then we will get a graph which is having a negative slope and that negative slope is nothing but uh, sorry that slope is nothing but negative of mu so from 
from the slope so if you find the negative of the slope now after finding the slope the negative of the slope will give the mass absorption coefficient now i will give a brief introduction about on gm counting system this is a gm counting system and this gm counting system is connected to a power source and here we can see many knobs and switches and buttons first we will see this is a mains of this uh, gm counting system and these are two knobs for operating voltage this is a coarse knob and this is a fine knob and these are the buttons where we can this is this is start button stop button and reset button button and this is a display where counts will be displayed here and this is a, a time selection knob where you can see here manual 30 seconds 60 seconds and 120 seconds are there we can uh, select according to our needs and this is the gates which indicates that the count uh, the gm counting system is taking count and when it gets off this uh, gate will uh, this switch get switch will get off this is gate bulb once the preset time is gone this gate bulb will glow and the counts will be displayed here and once the preset time is off the gate bulb will also get off and the count uh, display will be stopped and it will be showing reading this is this is gm detector tube which is connected to gm counting machine uh, counting system and this gm detecting tube is on the uh, detector stand where and this stand contains 13 to 15 slots where we will place this tray in these slots with a beta source here before starting the experiment let's see the precautions don't touch the source with bare hands take the radioactive substance from the lead chamber only when it is needed and keep it back soon after the experiment is over. GM counting system works under high voltage, so any leakage of current can cause even the death of the experiment. While taking the counts, make sure that only required radioactive substance are near the GM counting system. Smartphones, smartwatches or any kind of radioactive substance should not be near the GM counting system for the accurate measurements. For this experiment, you should not change the positions of slots for source and the absorber once it is fixed. Keep the beta source in such a way that its opponent red dot facing the GM tube. The source must be placed in such a position or slot such that the radiations are falling into the GM tube. Adjust the solid act. Wash your hands after the experiment. For this experiment, you should Let's see some of the basic details for this experiment. So for this experiment, we will be using a beta source and our source is thallium 204 and uh, the operating voltage for this particular experiment will be 450 voltage and the position of source, we will keep the source in the 7th slot and the position of the absorber will be the 2nd slot. Now the density of aluminium which we are using is 2.7 gram per centimeter cube and then now let's see how to take the by average background count now let's see how to take the average background counts so to begin with we'll turn on the main switch then the main one so now you can see some count is there on the display so we'll stop the count so that the bulb is also off now we'll reset it now that everything is reset now we'll keep the operating voltage to 450 volt so now it's zero 300 450 now it is at 450 fine we are leaving it as like that now you can see the detector stand there is no source no absorber we'll take the average uh, count without a source and without the absorber for this experiment we have to take the readings for 120 seconds since 120 seconds is not working in this one we'll go for the manual one so manual one we can do it uh, using a stopwatch in our phone or any stopwatch so here i'll show how to start so i'll so i'll be having why why are we positive now i'll start the start button and stopwatch simultaneously as you can see i'll start like this 
now you can see the bulb is glowing the gate bulb is glowing that means the readings are taking okay so this uh, reading is uh, will take it for 120 seconds will take it for the 120 seconds and there is uh, no source and no observer uh, in the gm uh, detector stand so once uh, the timer is 120 seconds we have to stop it now you can see that the time is approaching two minutes once it approaches like exactly reaches two minutes i will press this stop button as like this so now you can see there is a reading shown here the bulb stopped glowing so we will take this reading as the background call the first reading i'll write 203 so similarly we will take another three readings before the starting of the experiment and another three readings at the end of the experiment and total six readings we will be having we will divide it with six so we will get the average background reading now i'll explain how to take the readings so this is our tabla column as you can see the first one is thickness which is in millimeters then counts will take for two trials will take then there is a mean count corrected count lnn and roti pause now we'll keep the source so this is our slow source you can see that so this source will keep in in this tree so i'll take the slot out so you have to take care while taking the slot and you have to keep it upside down like this you have to keep it in this slot okay after that i'll keep this slot in the seventh one seven slots. one two three four five six seven in the seventh slot I will keep the source. Now we have to keep the absorber. So our absorber is here, the aluminium foils. So you can see this is our absorber. So now I will take one. Now I will take one uh, foil. Before keeping the absorber, we need to find its uh, thickness using a screw gauge. So we can find its thickness easily using a screw gauge. Let's uh, tighten this screw gauge and you can take the readings from the screw gauge. So it's almost 0 0.5, it's almost 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.05 millimeters. Now I'll keep this uh, thing in this tray. So just keep this thing like this and I'll keep the uh, tray holder so I'll keep it tight I'll keep it in this tray and now I'll keep it in the second slot so first and second in the second the second right it's in the second one now after that so now the uh, counts are showing zero I'll start uh, so for 120 seconds for 120 seconds it's in the manual so for 120 seconds i'll start this thing so as we did uh, earlier we'll uh, start it simultaneously like this so now you can see the bulb is glowing bulb is glowing and the counts are taking so once the time is 120 seconds we will stop this so now you can see the time is approaching 120 seconds the count is on the display so once the time reaches 120 seconds i will stop it exactly so now you can see the bulb is off now you can see the bulb is off and the count is 1228 so now i will write it is so similarly we will take another trial for the same thickness and then pause it now after taking two readings for the same thickness we will remove this uh, aluminium foil we will take it out we will take it out and we will add one more aluminium sheet to this one and we will find the thickness using the screw gauge sorry so it will be almost double it then again after finding the thickness we will again keep it back in this tray like two of them together We'll just uh, keep this lid over it and then we'll keep this in the tray and again while keeping you have to take care it should be in the same second slot so it's in the first uh, source and same slot uh, source question also you shouldn't change this it's not going. 
So, okay. Now, in the same second slot, I will keep this. Then again, now again, for the 120 seconds, I will take the readings. So, I will start simultaneously like this. Now, you can see, gate pulp is on readings are taking so once it reaches 120 seconds i will stop this and take the readings now you can see the time is approaching two minutes so once it reaches two minutes exactly at that time i will stop so i stopped now the bulb is not glowing so the count uh, is 1033 now i'll write the reading so this is the second reading for the uh, so the trial two now for this thickness, first reading I got is 1033. As you can see, the count decreased as the thickness increases. Now we will take one more reading, the trial 2 for the same thickness. So now after the second thickness, we will take it again, we will remove it. Now after removing this, I will add one more and before that I will find the thickness using the screw gauge. and we will again keep it back in the same slot so similarly we will continue for another 5 or 6 so, so total that uh, 7, 8 or 9 readings we will be taking now after uh, doing all the uh, experiments with aluminium foil we will remove we will keep the aluminium foils back so we will remove it we will keep the all aluminium foils back we will close this thing now Again, we will take the background reading. So, we will keep the source apart. We will take the source. Now, after the experiment, soon after the experiment, we take the source apart and keep it in back position. Now, we will move all the things apart. Now again, without any source or uh, absorber, we will take the background counts. So, before the experiment, we have taken three background counts. Now, after the experiment, again, we will take the another three background counts as we explained in the beginning. Then, we will find divide it with six so that we will get the total average background counts. We have seen the procedure of taking counts for different thickness. And now, we have uh, done a same procedure for different thallium source and we have taken a different set of data and now we will analyze it in tabular column you can see we have taken as discussed thickness counts mean corrected counts len n and density of aluminium into thickness we will see each of them here we have increased the thickness in each readings for and we have taken two uh, counts that is two trials then we have taken mean of these two trials then we have taken corrected counts that is uh, mean value minus average background count average background count is that is three counts we took before the experiment and after the experiment that is corrected count which is the nothing but mean minus average background count then we have taken natural logarithm of corrected count that is len n and we have taken rho into t that that is uh, density of aluminium 2.7 gram per centimeter cube into thickness we have got all the values and we have drawn a graph we have plotted a graph where we have taken thick, uh, thick, uh, rho into t at x axis and len n at y axis and we have got a slope negative slope negative slope of minus 17.33 centimeter square per gram this negative slope and uh, negative of slope is nothing but mass absorption coefficient of uh, aluminium for beta rays that is negative of slope minus 17.33 into minus that is 17.33 centimeter square per gram is the mass absorption coefficient of aluminium for beta particles.